everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I am going to be doing a weekend in my life um, today for you and I'm starting off with my pyjama top on. I'm literally just woken up. It's about 10 o'clock because I always sleep in on the weekend. I'm not one of those people that has that 6 a.m. workout planned. You know, I'm not that kind of person. I like to enjoy my weekends and that includes enjoying my sleep. So, I'm in my pyjama top right now. I'm just going to go through a couple of deliveries which I've had over the week. One thing which I find about nine to five working is I just have no time for little things. I wanna prioritize, you know, socializing and going to the gym and obviously making a decent dinner. Things like opening a parcel, honestly, I always just put it to the side and really bad. So I'm gonna just go through some little bits. First thing that came through my door, actually only this morning, so um, I've got an excuse that it's not opened yet is this parcel here from OGX. They're really lovely actually, this was sent to me. The company do their best to try and think about the community, think about the environment, think about their impact. Obviously in terms of packaging, it's still plastic, it's not like I'm using a shampoo bar from Lush, but it still is a company that I really respect and I love how they send me stuff, it's so, nice of them. I don't get many PR packages because I'm not a huge YouTuber so when I do I get really excited and I really appreciate it so it is their apple cider range, um, apple cider vinegar so they always have some bits in here which I haven't read yet and it's just about the product and then we have a shampoo and conditioner. This looks actually divine and then they've given me a little um, what do you call this, like wall mount kind of frame to put next to my bed or Jason suggested I put this in the kitchen so when I get up in the morning and make my breakfast I see that. That was my first package, the most exciting package I believe in my opinion. And then a couple other things, I've got an ASOS package and a um, in the style package and a Boo Avenue package which I need to open so let's do that now. It's gone ready, um, I don't have a top on right now, I'm just wearing a bralette because I'm going to try on the bits and pieces that have come. The reason why I look a little bit overdressed or over gotten ready is because today is a super busy day. My life is literally like I want to do four things in a day so I'm going from A to B to C to D. So this makeup will stay on and I'm going out tonight and this will be the makeup. It's like 10 in the morning right now. So that's why I look like I've got quite a lot of makeup on. It's because this is what I'm going to look like tonight when I go out. <laughs> so I've like made a decent amount of effort. That's why. That's my explanation. Anyway, I'm going to try on some of the clothes. First thing is this cardigan. I mean it's cute but it's just quite grannyish. That's the only thing I'm thinking. Nah. I feel like if this was in a beigey kind of colour, like a nude or a white, then it could go with a lot more but pink I'm just feeling like I'm not gonna get enough use out of this so no point keeping it. This is the second top. I got this from InStyle. It's a little bit gapy. I'm thinking if I get a safety pin and just do it like this. This is a really nice top to wear to work. Obviously I'd wear black jeans with it and not my pajama joggers, but yeah, I quite like this. The reason why I'm just gonna make it work is because it was in the sale for literally three pounds or four pounds. So I'm not gonna bother returning it. I feel like a safety pin is just kind of how we're gonna work with this. I was so excited about this top, but I'm going to have to return it. Can you, see? I don't know if it comes across on camera. This is the tightest thing ever. I feel like I'm wearing a wetsuit. So restrictive. No way I'm gonna wear this. This is from In The Style, by the way. In Style, again, looks very silly with my joggers on, but I'm just gonna crouch. It's kind of like a, I don't know what you call them, like tiered. This is nice. Again, it's just gonna be for work. It's not um, anything that's meant to be super stylish. Right, the next thing is from ASOS. It's a dress. Obviously, you can see my halter neck bralette. So when I saw this on the website, I kind of was intrigued by it. Stars is never, ever going to be something I buy. But when I saw this, I thought, actually could work. It could be cool. And now the mixed opinions continue. Still can't tell if I like it or not, or if it just makes me look like a 10-year-old kind of going to a party. I'm really confused. And I don't know how I can properly show you. Can you see that? I don't know. It's like high and low. Oh, I just don't know. But I think overall it's a no from me. Let me know what your opinions are. If I should have returned it or if I should have kept it. Okay, so final couple things. I've put them together just so that I look decent. The first thing is this body from Boo Avenue. It's technically like a underwear item. They sent me a couple things for Valentine's Day and they are so amazing. I absolutely love Boo Avenue stuff. I feel really privileged to be on like their kind of influencer list or whatever you'd call them. They sent me a plain black one which, look at the inside, funky. But the straps are like changeable so you can make this a halter neck, you can make this a crossbody back, you can have it as a regular bra as it's currently kind of attached like and it's like a super padded one so it'll be like my 
going out kind of one. They also sent me matching underwear and then the second bra they sent me which I've already worn. So this is from their Valentine's Day collection and is honestly probably the prettiest bra I've ever owned. They've also sent me matching underwear to go with this. Um, I don't know if it's coming up on camera but it's like a really nice shimmery pinky purple kind of like mauve colour. Um, honestly gorgeous. So that was like the two proper underwear sets that they sent me but they also sent me this which is like a body and I've paired them with these trousers which are from ASOS, they're also part of like the haul that I'm trying on. Um, so this is the back, I'm wearing a bralette, I'm sorry if that kind of ruins it, but honestly I'm just not comfortable not wearing a bralette, like what? how? There's like two kind of straps here which cross over, um, sorry if that's confusing because of my bralette's lace as well. The middle is this lace and then there's like polka dot here, but I kind of cover it because of my trousers, but really cool. You know how I'm saying I'm a bit of a absolute chaos and there's so much going on in my life. My plan for today is to keep my trousers in my bag when I go out today, have this on underneath my top so then when I go out today I look normal, I've got a t-shirt on and jeans and then when I'm going changing to go out and go out for dinner and look a bit more formal I'll put these on which are stored in my bag and I'll take my top off so I've got this on underneath. That's the plan. Okay so I've changed again, oh my gosh. Right I just need to package up some of those parcels to return and then I'm ready. So today, I've not even told you what I'm doing today because I was too busy trying on clothes. Today, I am going to go watch the rugby, hence why I've got my strip on, shirt, same thing. We're gonna go to Clapham, which is a uh, area of London, meet some friends and watch the rugby. Scotland they're playing Italy today, so not a huge game, but still a good game to go see good way to like fill the day and be sociable so I'm gonna go and then as I mentioned I have my bodysuit on underneath and then my change of trousers as well because I'm not gonna wear white smart trousers to the rugby and then for the evening I'm meeting a friend for dinner and then we're going to go see the 1975. I have not listened to their music in a while actually. I was so obsessed with them when I was in high school. They have a special place in my heart. Every song they release I just naturally love it because it's by them. We're gonna go see them in concert. I'm really excited. I don't know what it's gonna be like. As I said, I've not actually properly listened to their album that they brought out most recently, but I was briefly listening to it on the tube home yesterday. Turns out I've actually listened to most of the songs just individually. So I'm just gonna kind of get ready. We're gonna leave in about 20 minutes. I've got a couple bits and pieces to do just around the house, like tidy my bed up from when I was trying on my clothes, and then I'm ready to go. to listen to like the old songs when they came on and you could tell like the crowd was quite mixed of old and new fans. The girl that was sitting right next to me, I could tell she was the complete opposite of me. She knew all the words to 
the new songs where I was like, mm, and then I knew all the words to like the old songs. On the train home though, had the weirdest guy who sat next to me. I think he was just super drunk. You could kind of tell, like he didn't look like there was anything kind of actually wrong with him, which would be a shame, but like honestly, he just looked like he was drunk and he was watching a video on his iPad, propped up on his lap of um, someone stirring mints, like putting carrots in mints, basically making like a bolognese or a something, which <laughs> absolutely creasing himself. Like he was looking at me as well for like support, like hey hey look at this video and I was like you were nuts, you were absolutely nuts. I think he was just smashed and thought that this video was hilarious and thought the fact that he was watching it was hilarious, but yeah. Bizarre. There's weird people in London, guys. Really weird people. Hello everyone, it's Sunday and I'm gonna be doing the second day of this Weekend of My Life vlog. I've just woken up and had a shower. Again, as per usual, I always have a lion on weekends, so it's about 10, half 10 right now. And today, Jason and I are going to have a chill day. I really try and keep my Wednesdays, my Wednesdays, where did I get Wednesday from? Keep my Sundays free. And I mean, if somebody wants to meet up with me or like somebody does ask and Sunday's the only day, then fine. But like, I do try and keep my Sundays free because I wanna do like my food shop, I wanna like tidy my room, I wanna do my clothes, like washing, and I just wanna have a chill day and feel like I've actually relaxed because um, a lot of the time I do feel like I'm just go 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 all the time. Today Jason and I are just gonna wander into Wimbledon. It's about a 15-20 minute walk from where we live so we're gonna wander there, have lunch and then wander back and then we'll do like a food shop at Zainsbury's and um, I'll probably put a clothes wash on if none of the guys are doing washing today. I'm just tidy my room and make me feel like I'm ready for the next week. So yeah, um, first of all just gonna get changed and ready for the day. What can I do? What can I pouring it down whilst we were on our walk so we ran into a place for lunch. We are at Wimbledon Village and we're at a place called Le Pan. I think but look how many menus there are. <laughs> look at this. The just come like delicious. I've got butternut squash soup and then like a scrambled egg toast and then Jason's got the same but his toast has chicken and feta and avocado on it. It's like really delicious. And my juice is like this sparkling elderflower cordial. It tastes really fresh and healthy. From a little kind of day out, we've been shopping at Sainsbury's. I've put all the food away. I've just got a couple of bits for the room, and we had lunch at a really nice cafe, which um, I think I filmed in. Oh, it's a bit blue in here. I'm now just going to do a little bit of tidy of the room because I've still got some stuff that I need to put away. I just like to make it look a little bit more tidy before I start the week, so I can start off fresh and feel like I'm starting on a good note. So I'm going to do that now. finished doing a bit of a tidy and I hoovered the top floor of our house as well so feeling a bit more fresh I'm probably just gonna go for a shower and kind of chill properly for the night. I'm gonna finish the video now because all I'm really gonna do this evening now is eat my dinner, shower and go to bed so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will see you soon next video. Bye! I sat down by the ocean. Is that tears that I feel?